And more students are heading back into the classroom after homeschooling since school began in August. News 4 Tucson's Allie Potter tells us tonight it's a collaborative effort. It's an exciting day for Amphi School District as students sort of come back to class. Welcome to the first day of hybrid learning school. It feels like the first day of school, but our children have been in school online since August 10th. The hybrid model is a way Amphi School District can decrease the population by half. So what we've done is we've divided the two, um, two into two cohorts, cohort one and cohort two. Each class we divided it in half. Half the children are coming on Mondays and Thursdays and the other half come on Tuesdays and Fridays. And on Wednesdays, everybody's online. But on the other two days that the children are not in school, they're still online. Dr. Roseanne Lopez, Associate Superintendent of Elementary School says, Social distance is key. Our schools are not built to have 10 or 15 students in a classroom. They're built for many more. But we've made it so that there's only at the most 15 students in a classroom right now, and most are far less than that. Isabel Aguilar's daughter goes to Prince Elementary and says she loves the hybrid model. It allows them to come into school and interact with others and be there with the teacher and learn just like if it was a normal day. And the kids love it. They enjoy it including her daughter, Yasmin. It was pretty cool, like you get to go back to school and you get to see all your friends. As you can imagine, a lot went into making this first day happen. We had to communicate with all 13,000 people, which cohort they're going to be in. They have to wear a mask. We're going to be socially distanced. We're going to be washing hands. Teachers have to redo their classrooms, redo the schedules, redo lunch schedules, redo recesses, sanitization. The logistics have been very thorough and very complex, and we think we're off to a reasonably good start. Dr. Lopez says you, the community, play a huge role, like wearing a face covering, washing your hands, and using social distancing that could combat the virus and keep these kids in school. We've got you covered in Midtown. Allie Potter, News 4 Tucson.